Why are marsupials found only in Australia? Have you ever seen a kangaroo or a koala? These animals are marsupials, which means they carry their young in a pouch. Now, here's the interesting part. Marsupials are found only in Australia and a few other parts of the world, but why is that? In this video, we'll explore four main reasons why marsupials are found only in Australia. We'll talk about the unique features of Australia that make it a perfect home for marsupials, and we'll also discuss the history of marsupials and how they came to be found only in this part of the world. So, without further ado, let's jump into it with a little background on what a marsupial is. Background So, what is a marsupial? Well, a marsupial is actually a distinct group of mammals characterized by a unique reproductive system and a pouch-like structure in females known as a marsupium, where they carry and nurse their underdeveloped offspring. Unlike ordinary placental mammals, which nourish their embryos through a placenta inside the womb, marsupials give birth to relatively undeveloped live young, often referred to as joeys. These tiny newborns are typically blind, hairless, and helpless, resembling embryos in their level of development. The hallmark of marsupials is their unique reproductive strategy. After fertilization occurs, the embryo develops for a short period of time within the mother's uterus before being born prematurely. The newborn joey then crawls into the pouch where it latches onto a teat and continues to develop and nurse until it is sufficiently mature to survive outside. These marsupials present incredible diversity, ranging from iconic species like kangaroos and koalas to lesser known ones like the numbat and our good old friend the Tasmanian devil. There are over 330 species of marsupials found in the world across many different habitats and around two thirds of them live in Australia. But why is that? Let's take a look. Number one, migration to Australia. Around 40 to 35 million years ago, Earth looked quite different from today. Back then, South America and Australia were connected to Antarctica, forming one big landmass. The surprising thing is that Antarctica was not icy like it is now. Instead, it had a mild climate and was covered in temperate rainforests, making it a good place to live. But that wasn't close to being the end of the journey for the marsupials. It seems that marsupials started out in South America. They then journeyed across the land bridge that connected South America to Antarctica. Along the way, they adapted to different environments. As this ancient supercontinent began to shift and drift over millions of years, the gradual separation of Australia from Antarctica became inevitable. Eventually, Australia broke away, forming its distinct landmass. The marsupials that had made their way across Antarctica found themselves isolated in Australia due to this geological detachment. This isolation would ultimately have a profound impact on the evolution of marsupials. Let me explain. Australia's isolation from other continents allowed marsupials to evolve in their unique way. They didn't have to compete with placental mammals that were becoming common elsewhere. This gave them the chance to fill different roles in Australia's various environments. As a result, marsupials in Australia diversified into many species, each adapted to their specific habitats. You might know some of them, like kangaroos, koalas, and wallabies. Others, like quokkas and numbats, are not as famous but equally important. In simple terms, marsupials, with their distinctive pouches, started their journey in South America, crossed Antarctica, and settled in Australia. This migration was possible because of the way the continents moved. Once they arrived in Australia, they thrived and evolved into various species, making Australia their home. Number 2. Lack of Competition We've already established that Australia's geographic isolation from other landmasses, particularly those inhabited by placental mammals, was a crucial factor in the growth of marsupials. However, the absence of competition for resources also allowed them to strengthen their numbers across Australia. In the absence of placental mammals or major carnivorous animals in general, marsupials experienced a process known as adaptive radiation. 
This refers to the rapid diversification of species into a variety of ecological roles to exploit available resources. Without the intense competition typically linked with the presence of placental mammals, marsupials were free to explore and occupy diverse habitats. Marsupials in Australia also underwent a process known as niche specialization. Different species evolved to exploit specific ecological niches, resulting in a wide range of marsupials that are adapted to various lifestyles and dietary preferences. For instance, you have herbivorous marsupials like kangaroos and koalas, insectivorous marsupials like bandicoots, and carnivorous marsupials like Tasmanian devils. Each of these marsupials evolved specifically to excel in their chosen niche. The lack of competition also led to resource partitioning among marsupials. This means that different marsupial species evolved to utilize different resources within the same ecosystem. By specializing in particular food sources or habitats, they minimized direct competition with each other. Number 3. Unique Interactions with Australia Australia's isolation and marsupial diversity have led to unique ecological interactions. For example, in various regions of Australia, marsupials have emerged as crucial pollinators for specific native plant species. The honey possums, for example, are known for their specialized adaptation to nectar feeding. As they forage for nectar, these marsupials inadvertently transfer pollen between flowers promoting the reproduction of numerous plant species. This mutually beneficial relationship has led to the coevolution of marsupials and specific plants that rely on them for pollination. Moreover, several marsupial species have developed unique adaptations for nectar feeding, including elongated tongues and specialized dentition. These adaptations enable them to access nectar deep within flowers, effectively pollinating plants in the process. Sugar gliders and certain glider possums also show this evolution. Beyond pollination, marsupials contribute significantly to seed dispersal in Australia. Some marsupials consume fruit and later disperse the seeds through their feces, aiding in the colonization of new areas by plants. This process benefits both the marsupials, which gain a food source, and the plants, which benefit from seed dispersal. Kangaroos, through their grazing activities, also influence plant growth and seed dispersal, indirectly shaping the vegetation in their habitats. What we're trying to say is that when marsupials were left isolated in Australia, they didn't just extract the resources from the land, but also gave back to the environment. This allowed the continued growth of both the marsupials and the flora of Australia. All of this eventually cemented Australia as the perfect place to live for them. Number 4. Behavioral Changes Throughout their evolutionary history, marsupials have faced extinction events, including significant challenges presented by the arrival of placental mammals like dingoes and cats following human settlement in Australia. In the face of these formidable challenges, the unique adaptations and behaviors of marsupials have enabled certain species to not only survive, but also thrive. Many marsupial species have adopted a primarily nocturnal lifestyle. This behavioral adaptation is particularly beneficial when dealing with introduced predators like dingoes and cats, which are often diurnal hunters. Nocturnal marsupials, such as the bilby, brush-tailed possum, and greater glider, reduce the risk of encounters with these predators by being active during the night. Some marsupials have also adapted to exploit nocturnal food sources, such as insects and nectar-bearing flowers which are more abundant and accessible during the night. But that's not all. In Australia's arid regions, where temperature extremes are common, being active at night helps marsupials avoid the scorching daytime heat, reducing the risk of heat stress. Marsupials have also developed remarkable burrowing abilities that serve as a key survival strategy in the presence of introduced predators. Burrows provide a secure refuge from terrestrial predators like dingoes. Marsupials, such as bilbies and bandicoots, have evolved to create complex underground tunnels, enabling them to hide during daylight hours and protect themselves from predators. And once again, in environments with extreme temperature fluctuations, burrows offer a stable microclimate, 
helping marsupials maintain optimal body temperatures. Burrows also serve as safe sites for nesting and rearing offspring. Marsupials can protect their young from both predators and harsh environmental conditions within these underground chambers. Other than this, marsupials have also learned to thrive on remote islands sectioned off from the mainland. This behavior dates back to their ancestors, who traveled across the supercontinent to reach Australia in the first place. Because there are no dangerous predators on these islands, marsupials can live there without being constantly worried about being eaten. This makes it easier for them to have babies and raise their families. Also, marsupials on these islands often have special ways of living that help them do well there. They become experts at finding food and surviving without competition from other animals. These islands are like peaceful neighborhoods for marsupials. These unique behavioral traits represent the marsupials' ability to adapt and thrive even in the face of considerable challenges such as predation pressure from introduced species. But how does this all tie back to why marsupials are only found in Australia? Well, that's because of Australia's diverse range of habitats. The land of Australia was perfect back when marsupials first discovered it, and it continues to provide for them even in modern times. That was our take on why marsupials are mainly found in Australia. We hope you learned something new today. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on videos like this. See you next time.